can get. Got a couple cars, like the truck down there, it's got its windows smashed. It looks like there's another vehicle up here with its windows smashed. So, not too good. Hi, Mom. All right, so, got a big group in front of me here, but I just headed out from Lincoln Gap. It's breezy, but it's a warm breeze. And going about five miles to Coley Glen Shelter for the afternoon and evening. So here we go. I love these. I love these mountain fern areas. There's a certain elevation. You sort of, you run into the ferns and uh, they smell amazing. I love that smell. A little clearing right here. It just smells awesome. So this is uh it's the summit of Mount Grant right here. There's no uh, no signs or summit markets or anything. But I got my buddy here I'm hiking with the last mile or two. It was nice to have someone to chat with. But uh, yeah, I'm almost at the shelter already. So pretty short, quick day for today. I'm gonna head down there. Okay. A lot of water on the trail. When is it there? <laughs> you know, they say if you're looking for water on the long trail, you don't need to look far, just look down. And it's kind of the case. There are definitely some spots that are pretty, pretty dry though. Cooley Glen's up here somewhere. All right, so this is the Cooley Glen Shelter. And for some reason, I've been calling every shelter the Cooley Glen Shelter on this trip, but uh, this is it. Nice little clearing here, fire pit. It's, uh, it's a shelter, it's not one of the Cooler ones I've come across, but it's it's nice. It's here. Um, short day today. I only did like five miles, so uh, short trip. Five today, seven tomorrow, five out. So I'll be out of here midday, mid morning Thursday. Um, just getting a chance to get out, really relax a little bit. Um, but uh, here's a tour. I'll give you a tour of the shelter. There you go. Pretty basic lean to. Trail heads north right there, south right there, a little fire pit action, and that's it. Holy Glen Shelter. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> it's about 7 o'clock. Headed out of Cooley Glen, headed to Skyline, um, about 7 miles. I didn't plan this trip very, very well. I, I really wanted to stay at Skylight, Skyline, and uh, I didn't want to do the 12 miles yesterday because I wasn't sure what time I'd start. So I went to Cooley Glen, but it was pretty quick. So it's kind of going to be three short days. But I really wanted to stay with the pond and the little deck at Skylight. So um, it is what it is. The water here at uh, Cooley Glen is actually down the Cooley Glen Trail. There's a trail that comes up right here. I'm standing next to the, the lots. Um, I don't know, it's down there about 50 yards. There's a little tiny little brook. Um, other than that, there's not much water right, right near here. So anyway, yeah, all right, off I go. Yep, here it is. Here's the water source for, uh, for Cooley Glen. Not much there, so bring a cup to dip.
here we go. Here's a nice view. Not sure exactly where I am, but I feel like right here, all the way, like right there, that looks like Kellington to me. Kellington or Pico. Right there. Not positive. Right there. Um, could be. Could be Pico with Killington behind it. I'm not really sure. But uh, beautiful day. Nice and cool. Yeehaw. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what summit this is. But just came up to the summit of this. Long climb up. Whew. Yeah, not much to see up here. It was a good climb though. So this is Emily Proctor Shelter. It's right on the long trail. There's another trail right there that comes up, Emily Proctor Trail. Long trail comes through right here. Uh, the peak that I was just on that I didn't really know where I was is actually Wilson Peak and I should have recognized it. I've actually been up there before, but I didn't recognize it. So now I'm headed up Breadloaf, which I've been up before too. So this is kind of neat. I've been through this section a little bit a bunch of years ago and look into Skyline. Two miles, got two miles left. Alrighty. Oh, <clears throat> well, this is Bread Wolf Summit. There's no, uh, no sign for it. But this is it. Uh, there's a little carn right back here. I think they're using it as the marker for the summit. Right there. So, anyway, yeah, here's Bread Wolf. I've been up here before. It's not my first time. The summit's off this little spur trail. This little trail goes back down to the long trail. There's a real sharp corner on the long trail. It comes right off a... I kind of wish some of these peaks would be marked with those little signs a little bit more. I don't know. I find it interesting to pass those signs. Gorgeous up here right now. There's no wind. It's cool. Sun's out. Got about a mile and a quarter to go to my shelter for the afternoon. Gonna relax. Watch the sunset tonight from Sunset Ledge. Be pretty cool. And here are here's the fort. Here's the long trail right here. Long trail north, long trail south. right up on the ridge, ridge hiking. This whole last couple sections after Camel's Hump, it's all ridge, ridge line. Lincoln Gap, App Gap. Once you get up on top, it's pretty smooth, smooth going, but getting up on top can be the tricky part.
check this out. Hello. Hi. Hi. Came all the way up here. All right, so this is Sky White Lodge. A nice beaver pond. Sits out in front of it. Check it out inside. Just met a gentleman here who helped build this. Here we go inside. It's got ample bunk space. Probably fit 10, 12 people in here. This little table and the sweet view and all I can hear are frogs. It's going to be a symphony tonight with frogs croaking, I feel like. But I, uh, I've been looking forward to staying at this spot for quite a while. Privy's down there a little bit. Um, oh, listen to them, they all popped up. Listen to all those frogs. Wow. So this is the water source at uh, Skylight Lodge. A little spring, it literally comes out of the ground right there. And this is how I collect my water. I use a, I use a cup so I don't stir up the water. And just pour it in. There we go. And I got my, my little Sawyer micro. cold frosted water and that's how you get your water out here right there so I'm headed out of skylight pond the frogs last night were terrible the frogs were croaking all night it's all I could hear I couldn't get it out of my head but why is there the whole night? Um, oh, it was pretty bad. I'm gonna think twice before staying here again. But it's eight o'clock, I'm on my way out. Got like a little over five miles to the car and I'm out of here. So it's supposed to storm this afternoon. I'll be out of here before then. But I uh, stayed with a couple guys, a kid from Middlebury College and another guy, both of them headed north. And uh, it was fun to chill, chill last night. One guy had celebrating the halfway point. He had some heady topper, so got to have a beer. It was, uh, it was a treat, it was fun. Good times, but legs feel good. Feeling good. I'm out of here. Here's a uh, boy's shelter. Uh, the last one before the Middlebury Gap. I'm just stopping for a quick snack and drink here. But fire pit at it. Kind of a cool little spot in the woods here. Long trail goes right, right past it. They even got a blaze right on the 
And another shelf there. Right up. Right up through there. Almost down, I can hear the construction. Middlebury snowball. I can hear the traffic on the road. It's also like the last half mile descent down off the off the ridge. It's almost done. Another section. flying on this this little bit this morning too doing half hour miles it's good for me whoa oh that was close Go. There's the trailhead. It's like the marker. Red Wolf Wilderness. All done. There we go. I just did the 17.4 miles. Yeehaw. I guess I'll sign out. Yeah. Oh, there's the road. There's the road right there. Oh boy. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Oh, and the car looks okay. No windows smashed. <laughs> That's always a bonus. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Yeah, I hiked from the gap. Lincoln Gap to here. Uh, any video? Uh, little parts here and there. Yeah. yeah. So that. That girl right there headed down on the bike is biking from Maine to California. And I just stopped and chatted with her right there at the trailhead for a minute or two. She just did the climb up that side of the gap. She's headed to California. Pretty amazing. But car's all good. Whew. Nobody here. Whew. All done. Finished up the gap. Uh, 11.6, 11 11 point, or 17.6 miles, something like that. Did it pretty slow, three days. 5.75, five. I could have easily done it in two days, but 
just wanted to be out here for a little bit. I'd say that section wasn't quite as uh, majestic as the Lincoln section um, going through Breadloaf. It's kind of kind of monotonous, but Skylight Pond was a treat, except for those frogs. The frogs are awful all night chirping. But uh, yeah, another successful uh, outing gap shot. Time to go uh, get something to eat. Out.